Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and today I'm sharing some creative florals using Simon Says Stamps Leafy Frame Stamp Set. The first card doesn't have any flowers on it but I think it still counts because its leaves are flora so hopefully that's acceptable. I'm going to start by stamping my sentiment which is the hello from the Leafy Frames stamp set and I stamped that with evergreen ink from Altenew which is a nice dark green. I'm then going to stamp the leaves. I'm starting in the top right hand corner and I'll stamp those with forest glades ink which is the next next step down in the green from the evergreen and then I'm going to take the stamps off and rearrange them. So at the moment I'm filling out the top portion of the card and so I'll just keep going along, rearranging the stamps, stamping them back down and filling out all those gaps until I'm happy with that. You could do it so that you are only filling out the top third or so of the card, that would work if you want a nice clean and simple design. But I decided to make it look as though the leaves are kind of falling down the card design so they're quite clustered together at the top and then they're more spaced out as you get further down the design. This is a one layer card I'm stamping directly onto my green card base with my green ink so it's also a monochromatic design. Then I went in with one of my alcohol markers. This is the I think bamboo green spectrum noir illustrator marker. First I used it just to put dots in between my image to kind of fill it out a bit more and then I decided actually I wanted to make those leaves stand out more than they were so I'm going to use that same marker to add a drop shadow to all of my leaves so I'm adding it to the left hand side of all of the leaves. Once I had finished that I felt like I still needed something. Quite often I will in that case add a frame to my design but I decided to do a bit different this time and instead I'm using my peel-offs. These are the mint glitter peel-offs from Love From Lizzie, the pinstripe ones. And I'm using those to add a border to the design. I felt like because the movement of the design is going from top to bottom, having the border along those two long sides would help enhance that feel of the movement. So that would complete card number one. For the second design I'm again going one layer so I'm working directly on my Desert Storm card base. This time I'm using the rectangular frame and I stamped it with Barely Beige ink from Simon Says Stamp. I did double stamp it just to make sure it shows up on camera well enough and I'm going to be colouring with my coloured pencils. My coloured pencils are actually watercolour pencils, they're from WH Smiths which is a shop in England, a chain of shops in England and I got these whilst I was still living there so they're quite a few years old but I do often use these just as colour pencils rather than as watercolour pencils and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So to start with I'm going in and colouring the leaf clusters, the more rounded leaves and I'm using two shades of green on these. I start by laying in the lighter shade across the entirety of the leaves I then add in a darker shade into the areas that I want the shadows to be and then I go back in with the lighter shade to blend it out and I will keep doing this across all of the leaves that are of that design, so the rounded leaves. The reason I stamped with the barely beige ink is because I want this to be a no line colouring look and that barely beige ink will disappear nicely once I have finished with all my colouring. This ink works well for alcohol markers as well as watercolours so it's a good go-to I find for no line colouring. For the narrower longer leaf clusters I decided to go with kind of blue green colour and I realised at this stage that I should probably draw the stems in. So for each of the leaf clusters I'm taking one of the shades I used and just using it to trace along those leaves. Again I'm going to work by putting my lightest colour down first and then going in with the darkest colour and then blending it back out with the lightest colour. I'm not doing a lot of layers for my colouring but with pencil colouring a good rule of thumb is to work in layers to build up the colour and that will get the nice intensity that you're looking for. Sometimes as you work along colouring on a busy image like this you may find that you come across a leaf 
or flower that should have been a color you already did and that you'd missed but that's fine you can just go back to coloring that in afterwards. I do try to work through each type of leaf or flower at a time so that I can do everything in those colors all at once but sometimes you miss things and that doesn't matter you can go and fill it in when you notice it and the more you fill in the easier it is to see what each piece is. I decided to go with a nice soft pink for the flowers and I think I actually used three shades on these. My lightest is a kind of peachy shade and then a true pink for my mid-tone and a deeper almost purpley pink for the shadow areas. I'm not worrying too much about the light direction as long as I'm fairly consistent with having for example the shadows in the folds and also the centers of the flowers where the petals are more tightly clustered are going to be darker as well. And as with the leaves I'm going in first with the lightest color then as I have three shades with my mid-tone and then the darkest color and then I'll blend back out with that lightest color and just keep working until I'm happy with them. This particular design has three flowers and they're all the same looking flower. I'm not sure if it's a rose. I'm not very good with flowers so I have no idea but I made sure to color all of them the same way and I also found it helpful especially on the corner of this rectangle design to just trace in the line of the rectangle with my lightest color so I knew where to end my coloring so that I'm not going into the negative space. The last element of the stamp to add is a kind of very small flower again I don't know what most flowers are so I have no idea what this is but I'm using a dark purple to trace in the stems and to add the little dotty heads of the flowers. Having completed all my colouring I'll return the card base to my Misty and I stamped a sentiment into the centre using Twilight Ink from Catherine Pooler. This is a nice soft grey which I thought would work well because I didn't want to add black. My sentiment was pretty much off centre so to help balance it a bit better and add some more interest to the card I did bring in some sequins and just adhered them into place onto the card and that completed my second design with these stamps. Moving on to the third card I'm going to be doing some metallic watercoloring onto black cardstock. I've done this a few times before and I do like the way it looks even though I'm not an expert watercolorer. I find that this is quite a forgiving look and tends to come out quite well. So I first used golden crown embossing powder from Love From Lizzie to heat emboss the circular frame or wreath onto the black card base and I also added my sentiment into the center as well. I have the Gansai Tambi starry colors to paint this image and I'm starting by using the white gold to color the flowers. Initially I was laying the color down in the areas that I wanted it most intense and then drawing it out with my paintbrush and just some clean water but I in the end decided to go back and just do it as flat color and I felt that I had more success with that and it worked better. Next I went and coloured the round leaves and these are actually in each leaf has two segments so I decided to colour them in two shades of gold. I used the champagne gold for the first go round and then I used I think the light gold for the other one and then I did go back in with that white gold over the flowers to fill them out a bit more and as I said I decided to paint them flatter. Here is where I fill in the other side of those leaves and actually I guess I used the blue gold for these not the light gold. So these leaves are two-tone champagne gold and blue gold and as I said on the previous card as you go along with the painting sometimes you'll find some spots that you have missed so I did go and fill those out as necessary. For the longer narrower leaves I decided to use the red gold and just filled those out quickly with my paintbrush and I'm using a very fine tip paintbrush for this painting I just found that was easiest. So once I'd finished painting I decided to add some splatters to the image and immediately disliked it. Then I had tried to fix it and I just made it worse so I changed directions and decided this wouldn't be a one layer card anymore. So I took the white gold and I painted over the center of the wreath in a way that almost makes it look like a moon I feel and I concentrated the color more to the left hand side. And then I let that dry completely and I decided to fussy cut the wreath out. 
So I'm just using my scissors and I will very quickly fussy cut around that. As always with fussy cutting, I'm moving the paper and not my scissors. This gives a smoother cutting and I will just keep going around until the whole thing is cut out. My scissors that I use for fussy cutting are not anything special. If you're careful, you can use any scissors. Although I would like to invest in some proper fussy cutting scissors at some point when I have the money to do so. And whilst I'm finishing cutting this, I will just quickly say that if you are looking to get any of these products for yourself, there are links in the description box below to where you can find the products I have used. Some of them are affiliate links, not all of them, but where possible I do use affiliate links and if you shop with the affiliate links then that will help to support me and my YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. So if you do do that then thank you very much for your support, it's very much appreciated. Having finished fussy cutting it out I have another black card base and I decided I did want to add something extra to it so I bought in some mirror gold peel -offs. Again, pinstripe peel-offs, and I created a design onto the background, which ended up being kind of like a cross. It wasn't intentional. I didn't plan to make a cross, but that's what I ended up with, and I think it works quite well. I did cut away the bits that will be hidden behind that wreath focal element and put them back on the sheet because I can use those pieces later. I do sometimes use even very tiny pieces so I find it's worth keeping those extra pieces and no one will be able to tell that they're not there. I then popped up my wreath focal element onto the card base and that will complete card number three. So those are the three cards that I made with the Simon Says Stamp Leafy Frames stamp set. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did you can press the like button below to let me know and there's also the dislike button right there next to it if you didn't enjoy it. Leave me a comment letting me know which of the cards was your favourite. I'm always intrigued to know. You could also let me know if you've created any cards with this stamp set or alternatively what your favorite way is to use floral stamps. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel you can subscribe by pressing my logo that's showing on screen now. There are a couple of other videos showing on screen you may enjoy if you want to see more from me straight away. Otherwise I'll thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!